Tattooing used to be associated with soldiers, sailors, bikers and what used to be called the lower classes. I think that is a, is a bit of a, a misconception with our industry and in fact at the period of the poster there was 75 percent of nobility were tattooed God. so the us lowly commoners couldn't actually afford to be tattooed. Let's look at this poster which is our backdrop Don Manuelo he is a muscle man the best tattooed muscle man in the world He's covered head to foot, body, back, neck. Donio Emanuelo was late 1800s, but during this era, he made a very handsome living from being mm. a, working at, at a carnival. Too, yeah. I mean, I see some of these motifs on scrimshaw and other forms of carving. And I mean, this is a rare thing. I mean, for a poster of sort of the 1880s, 1890s mm -hmm. to survive, depicting a very rare subject is really quite breathtaking. I was really excited when you turned <laughs> up with it. Look, can we open this box? Certainly. Because these are the tools involved in really making tattoos of this type. Yes. And uh, I mean, I guess this is contemporary with the poster, sort of late, late 19th century. Correct, yeah. Now we've got a, a, a sort of a business card with George, George Birchett. Birchett. George Birchett was known as the king of tattoo artists because he tattooed King George. He had the King of Denmark flying over to, to be tattooed. Yes. So what have we got in here? Well, R run us through it. When, when we look through, we have a, as you can see, these would have been the needles that George would have been use, using. It could have even been the needles he used on the King. Oh, look at um, the size of those. I must say, <laughs> they, I'm slightly grimacing. <laughs> so. Yeah, they'd, they'd be old sewing needles. This would have been a design, very patriotic. Um, with the yes, with, the with a, a, a girl's name, obviously, perhaps uh, somebody he was betrothed to, perhaps a sailor, 1916 Sarah, and this looks like it's been used. This this would have been a transfer. They would have carboned the, so, the ink onto the reverse of the transfer. So, and what we do have here is a very beautiful hand-drawn piece. Depicting the lady, but she wouldn't have a tattoo, would she? Oh, in these days you'd be absolutely amazed because I have a friend who's a mortician and he said he's amazed with the amount of the old girls that are sadly passing away at the moment that oh, yes, how many of them have actually got nobody else does. back pieces because in this era people didn't show any flesh they didn't show the tattoos no, no. people were more tattooed yeah. than what we and thought of course today the very opposite we show a lot more flesh we go on holiday and people like to show off a little ankle tattoo or just a little subtle tattoo somewhere um, i must say i rather like it i haven't got any tattoos myself we I've can soon sort, <laughs> sort that out. I'll, see you, I'll see you later <laughs> that's yeah. fascinating look i mean very very rare i can't think the roadshow has ever featured items to do with the art of tattooing so it's a very exciting moment and we've got to basically boil down to values if this came up for auction I would anticipate it would make somewhere between three and five thousand and probably a figure not far off for the box with the right audience and the right sale certainly two or three thousand maybe a little bit more I think the, at that price I would buy them every single day <laughs> ah, you, you would say that wouldn't you <laughs>